Shane with the simplegig.com educating and training not entertaining and complaining so just for information's sake the answer to every question as to why the apps do what they do is the answer to the question how do we control a workforce that are not employees right so you're a 1099 you're an independent contractor you're a small business owner you're a franchise you're in business for yourself well how do you control somebody like that so that's the question which is the answer to why do they do what they do so why do they not tell you where you're going right why do you not know where you're going because if you're new you would probably pick and choose right if you're in the Ogden area you don't want to be dropping somebody off up in Pine View if you're in the Ogden area you don't want to be taking somebody to Brigham you get up to Brigham you're not going to get any business you're not going to get any rides which by the way on a side note is why you should be on Instacart or DoorDash because you get into those places and I've had two times where I end up dropping somebody off in Brigham and yeah there's no rides up there but then there's instacart orders so that's a side note so not telling you where you're going is so that you don't pick and choose and then another thing that most people don't think about is uber pro right so you develop this uber pro thing how do we get them to accept a lot of rides not cancel any rides unless they absolutely have to right so you, you create this point system and the points what are the points for creates loyalty right you're gonna do this one platform more than the other because you need to get those points in order to maintain your thing also the points control how do we get them to drive certain times right so you notice there are certain hours where you're getting five points per ride and then other times one point well now you're kind of manipulated encouraged to drive during those hours that offer five points per ride so the points are getting you to ride more loyalty plus to drive and do rides during certain hours this pro status with the things you get I don't know I haven't been able to use anything yet free dent repair I can't figure that out I qualify for the college tuition but I don't know what to take and I'm having a hard time getting help on to making a decision but anyway, so Uber Pro. But to keep it, to maintain your status, you gotta accept this many, lots of rides, and cancel very few rides, right? So that's Pro. So Uber Pro is not like, oh, look what they're doing for us. And oh, look what they're giving us. Oh, I get this. It's, it's how do we control a workforce that are not employees. Employees, you just tell them what to do, and they either do it or they're fired. Subcontractors, franchisees, you, right? How do you control them? So that's everything. Now, the three in a row streak bonus, right? Don't turn off the app. Do three rides in a row. That's, that's because they know there's going to be a honey hole somewhere like say a basketball game is getting out or a concert's getting out or there's an event happening or there's something happening on 25th street or downtown right and they know that you're gonna pick up do a short ride and turn off go offline during that ride you drop those passengers off you double back offline you go back to the honey hole you turn on the app get another short ride right where the surges are so how do we control a workforce that don't work for us that don't that are not employees that are not w-2s how do we control the workforce from 
going back to where the surges are going to be. They know that there's going to be a long surge and that what you want to do is turn off the app while you're dropping off a passenger, double back offline, go online in the surge, do that. But so when they offer this extra $10, extra $20 for doing three in a row without turning off the app, complete three in a row, when they do that, it's so that you turn it on so that when you get that ride at the honey hole or in the surge, you drop off over here, you're gonna pick up somebody out here and you're gonna end up wherever you end up and that's how they're encouraging you or manipulating you or controlling you, right? So everything they do is an answer to the question, how do we control a workforce that are not employees? So the Quest, Uber Pro, points are about loyalty. Points are about getting you to drive during certain times. And of course, Uber Pro is about getting you to accept as many rides as possible and cancel as little as possible. So, that's all. Sometimes people think, oh, wow, way to go. This is nice, or this is great. And it is. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just educating you to see the algorithm inside of an algorithm, the reason why they do what they do. And to question, you know, so whenever you see a quest, do three in a row without turning it off, ask yourself, what is it that's happening over here and do I want to not go for the quest, right? It, it, something like that. So, that's all. Why, how, you know, why are they doing what they're doing? How do we control a workforce that are not employees? That's the question. And the Uber Pro and the way it's designed with points and the ratings and acceptance rate and cancellations rate and of course your stars all of these things are to control that's a, a way of leading without telling somebody what to do because you can't because they're not an employee specifically so that's that terms of service are different than telling somebody what to do that's just the terms of service for a contract that makes sense but now how do we get them to accept as many right this kind of thing so that's that i'm shane with the simplegig.com and drive towards your dreams